Today on Logic TV, we'll be reviewing the brand new 17-inch MacBook Pro. Wait, 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 wait. You haven't seen the special new delivery. I got an ultra-small, ultra-sleek, ultra-light, Fujitsu convertible tablet PC, baby. Okay, um, but this one's a lot bigger. And... Okay, but can that PC do this? Yeah. No, but it did cost $3,000. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. I'm going to give you a break today, just because I'm in a good mood. Would you like to trade this super beautiful, light, convertible Fujitsu tablet PC for that 16-pound hunk of junk? Well, that sounds like a pretty good deal. Here you go. All right, you Thanks. take care. All right, today we'll be reviewing the brand new Fujitsu Lifebook. Fujitsu demonstrates with the Lifebook U810 that in a materialistic world, size matters. And this little baby is certainly set to turn heads. Fujitsu's first attempt at the UMPC market definitely has a lot going for it, including touchscreen capabilities, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and full tablet functionality. In normal operation, the Lifebook looks like a really small laptop computer, but flip that screen around and it doubles as a tablet PC. This little device has a modest Intel A110 processor and 1GB of DDR2 SD RAM built into the 945GU Express chipset. It's definitely no screamer, especially considering how resource-hungry and terrible the Microsoft Vista operating system is. A 40GB 1.8-inch hard drive is standard, running at 4200 RPM. The glossy 5.6-inch LCD screen runs at a high resolution of 1024 by 600 which is nice, but makes text hard to read. Images are crisp and vibrant, though. Of course, there's the rotating display that folds into a tablet, covering the tiny 56-key QWERTY keyboard underneath. Bluetooth and a secure fingerprint scanner are an additional bonus added onto the built-in Wi-Fi. Weighing in at 1.56 pounds and measuring 6.75 by 6 by 1 inch, the Lifebook U810 is certainly small, but the protruding battery definitely detracts from the already clunky looking aesthetics. We found the Lifebook U810 fairly easy to use, especially in tablet mode where the device proved more manageable in real world situations. Just flip the screen, pull out the stylus, and start tapping away. You can even rotate the screen four ways to suit portrait and landscape modes. Impressively, Vista's hand recognition algorithm was very accurate at interpreting our messy writing inputs. Mousing around is easy with the thumb pad if the stylus isn't your thing. In standard laptop mode, typing on the tiny keyboard was less than desirable, but still manageable. You'll certainly hit other keys by mistake as they're so tightly packed into the space, and you'll also look like a complete dork typing with this in public too. So stick to tablet mode. Fujitsu managed to cover the right areas in bringing out a balanced UMPC that takes the key features of a tablet and laptop computer and blends them together into one tiny form factor. It's certainly not perfect with its sluggish performance, lack of ports, and expandability, so uh, don't look for it to replace your notebook computer anytime soon. It's definitely one of the better UMPCs out on the market, but with the Vista OS, there's certainly a lot of room for improvement.